Okay, so we're recording this. This is a, an official Christine Till buffer <laughs> demonstration. And I'm sharing my screen with you right now. And the reason I wanted to record this is so that you can have it to follow through. So um, if you could ask me questions as we're going along, if you see things that have happened uh, that are familiar with you setting up your own platform, um, feel free to hop in and just ask a question because I won't be there to ask a question when you're just watching the recording. <laughs> so I've got my buffer open here. And I, I logged into my account and I went in to set up a post. And I always click the picture down here. So this little box you see says drag and drop or select a file. And I just went in. I have so many saved quotes with pictures. And I like Snoopy. I do Snoopy quite often. And so I have three to five posts a day scheduled to go out through my my webs my site. Now I'm teaching you today on Buffer because Buffer is the only site I know that has free access so you can attach up to three social media profiles to your buffer and schedule posts to go out through those three profiles every day for 10 days at a time and one thing that's great about buffer is they will send you an email reminder that says um we just posted your last post and i use a solid a physical day timer and it's on my desk all the time and so I write down on the date when uh, my last posts are scheduled for so that I can stay on top of my pre-scheduled posting and I've had so much success with it because you get you can attach now if you want to get on a paid platform with buffer and you want to have all your social media so say you've got five social media platforms, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, you've got five platforms and you want to attach them all to Buffer and start posting and pre-scheduling. And that opens up a whole new area for you, but you will pay. It's $5. It'll be $5. So five times five is 25. It'd be $25 a month to pay for your Buffer. And then that you will be allowed to post further ahead. So I'm using Sprout Social. And the reason I'm using Sprout Social is I've been using it for years, for about 12 and a half years. And I started using it when it was just really small, like Buffer. And it was $25 a month. There was a free 30 days. And then I had to start paying $25 a month. And I could attach up to 10 different social media platforms to that main platform that so that sprout social platform and so because i have such a big package and i, I pay over a hundred dollars a month for mine and it but it allows me and saves me having to pay for a va to help me do posting and so I just take a couple of three hours once a month and schedule posts to go out for that month. And I re, what, what, do, we, what do we call it? Repurpose all my posts. So let's say today is the 5th of June and I'm going to choose this. This is the 5th, no, not the 5th of June. It's the 5th of September. Okay. So I put dates on all my pictures and quotes so that it helps me keep track. It might not be the right month, but it'll be the right day of the month. So I'm going to double click on this and it will automatically load down here. And so the thing that we want to know is that what it says. So just click on the picture once you've downloaded it or uploaded it. And the most, it says the most beautiful way to start and end a day is with a grateful heart. And 
so out of my three to five posts a day that I have in total scheduled to go out through all of my social media, I try to put one uh, inspirational kind of post like this up. And I'm just going to put here, always have a grateful heart. Okay. Exclamation mark. So I can, I can put my hashtag on here. I can make a hashtag for myself and I can just call it gratefulness. And then I can so, put another hashtag for my marketing mentors. So, so uh, Christina, a question that came up with um, one of the members was that uh, is this it's you using a business page and not your regular Facebook page, or how, how does that work? Can you? Okay, um, I got to tell you guys something, and I'm going to be really harsh and strict. Facebook, uh, when I first started using social media. I read the entire terms of use for LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. Because at that time, there wasn't anything else. Um, as I review the pages now, none of them like you to have more than one pro profile. I have one profile. My family and friends are connected to me as, as well as all my business people. Your profile is you who you are. And so you don't want to hide your business side from your family. Your family need to know who you are. Yep. And I, my, I have rules. My family are not allowed to swear or use indecent pictures. Um, I do not like, I, I allow any of my family to share pictures of their kids. It is the most dangerous thing you could be doing, sharing pictures of your new grandbabies and, and your kids. Because in the terms of use of Facebook, as soon as you post something on there, it becomes Facebook's property. You lose control of that picture. And Facebook says that they have the right to use that picture however they wish. Mm. And people don't read the terms of use. And I get hair pulling out upset and and the same with linkedin and instagram you read their terms of use it's, it's a nice good week's reading <laughs> and so we are not supposed to have more than one profile and that's why they developed business pages and you can you can have on your Facebook profile, you can have two sides to your Facebook profile. You have one profile and you can make make it a meta profile. And that side would be the business side. And then you can switch it over to the personal side when you want to post on the personal side. But you only have one profile. And I have run into so many people who have more than one LinkedIn profile, Facebook profile, and to try and get rid of those extra profiles is really hard. And if link and if Facebook or LinkedIn or any of those companies, Twitter doesn't watch it so bad, but boy, LinkedIn and Facebook and uh, Instagram, you have to be careful of too. They can shut you down and you can lose hundreds or thousands of contacts that you've worked for years to build. So that's where I get really serious because people are trying to, they think that they're outsmarting these platforms, but these platforms have, um, what do they call them? Rules and regulations. Well, they have rules and regulations, but they there's a it's a programming term. They they program their their sites to be able to track people's activity. So, for instance, if you want to get shut down, start blasting everybody at, on on your main feed in your in any of your social media platforms. Start blasting everybody with. 
here's my this, buy my new this, see my new that. We have a new this. And it's it's like people feel like they're being slapped in the face when people pitch at them. And so what you want to do is you want to find groups that would have people in those groups that are people that would be your ideal clients, right? So for instance, if I have a company that uh, I specialize with LinkedIn, I would want to join some small business groups and some groups that have our home-based businesses. And those would be more of my ideal clients. If I had a health and wellness business, I would want to join groups that had people that were to do with health and wellness. And there are thousands of groups with health and wellness on all those platforms. And the groups are the biggest kept secret to all of those platforms, especially LinkedIn and, and Facebook. So I'm going to get off my soapbox <laughs> and we'll talk about Buffer now. Well, that was helpful, Christine. Any oh, any more so, soapbox you got is well appreciated, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it's 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 really, really hard to clean it up once you've got more than one profile. It is just next to impossible. Okay, so let's move forward. So you've got say say you've got an Instagram account and a Facebook account and a LinkedIn account. These are your main accounts. And you can connect them up to Buffer for free. But as soon as you attach one more, so a fourth platform up to that Buffer, then you they will start charging you $5 per social media platform. So if there's, if there's four, it'll be $20 a month. If there's five, it'll be $25 a month. But at the same time, that opens up the amount of posting that you can do. So if you stay on the free, they only allow you to post 10 days in advance. And then you have to repost another 10 days in advance. Mind you, that still saves you a lot of time. And with me um, and the way I'm using this other posting platform, it's called Sprout Social. Because I have been with it so long and been grandfathered in, um, I don't pay as as high a fees as people who join Sprout Social now. If they join Sprout Social now, and uh, they can only attach five profiles, and it's um, around a hundred dollars a month. And with me having ten profiles, it would probably cost around two hundred dollars a month if a person signed up now. And even that said. It's saving you money, Save, saving you huge money. I've talked to people in the Philippines and in India about doing posting for me. But the challenge is the grammar. Their grammar is not correct in lots of cases. And so it, that's a reflection of you on, and your business. So I chose not to use people from other countries to do posting for me. I, you, we, I can't even begin to afford somebody in my own country because they charge $1,500 a month to just do one post a day through all my social media. So I kept my eyes open and I've always looked for ways that I can save money and help other people save money and build their businesses without having to be sitting on the computer for eight to 16 hours a day. Because that's what I was doing when I first started working on social media. I was, <laughs> I was, it was nothing to be 16 hours a day sitting on the computer. So now that I can get this auto posting schedule, that I pre schedule everything, I've got posts scheduled to go out until January. In fact, into January. Nice. So, so here's what I do with my posts. And I can't go out as far as I can with Sprout Social. And if we have time, I'll go in and show you a little bit of Sprout Social at the end here. But I have another appointment at, right after this. So we'll try and maximize the use of our time here. So you can see I've got Facebook, 
my main Facebook page, my Twitter page, and my in LinkedIn page, all connected up here. You notice something that is... All picture the same. All I use the same picture. And it's part of identifying yourself and branding yourself. If you have a picture of uh, the Empire State Building on Facebook and then a picture of a barn on a farm and another on your Twitter, and if you have a pic your headshot on LinkedIn, it it mixes everybody's minds up and they, they don't know who you are. So my headline that I use on LinkedIn and my headshot, I get my LinkedIn all set up and then I use the same headline on all my other social media platforms so that they are matchy matchy and it's consistent because people want to do business with somebody that they know like and trust but how can they know like and trust somebody who's all over the map right <laughs> to them right so Chris, christine what does the uh, hashtag gratefulness and hashtag marketing mentors what does that do so anybody who has the word gratefulness in their profile on any of, their, any of those three social media platforms, LinkedIn, Facebook, or Twitter, will be uh, shown this post. And Just anybody- random gratefulness? Just grateful. a random word, gratefulness, yeah. Yeah, gratefulness, or a part of grateful marketing or marketing mentors, though they, then they're, you're, you're, that's what a hashtag does, is it, it targets a different audience. And oh, hopefully, okay. hopefully an audience that is more your audience. So mm -hmm. your target uh, target market. So okay. here we've so I've set up this. And you can have more than one picture here, but I usually just do one picture. And unless I'm doing a story, then I would do more than one picture. But just to keep things simple here, then once you go get your picture uploaded and you have something entered. Then you click customize for each network. And now that shows what's going to show up on each of your platforms. And you can look at them and you can say, oh, great. The one that I usually have to watch out for the most is, is the Twitter one, which is now X. Um, they have a limit to how many characters you can have in your comments that you make. And so I have to make sure that those aren't overstepping the guidelines and the way you know is this will be red there'll be a red rim around this post and that will be a, an, an alert to the fact that I need to cut out some words probably but they all look like they're okay here there's no red alerts and if I want to just change the what it says in in one of these I can do that so I'm not going to change anything on this on this post. And so I can schedule a draft if I want, but I do not want to schedule a draft. I'm going to schedule a post. And you see this little black box? The schedule time seems to be in the past. So this says 2 p.m. here. So I'm going to edit this. And I'm going to... change my time to three o'clock, 3 p.m. Done. So that way, now this bright, see how this button went bright? Yeah. It grays it out if it's if there's something wrong, but it will give you these little pop-ups like you saw as you're getting ready to set schedule your post. And then you click schedule posts. Voila, there they are. And they're mm -hmm. going to show up. So this, you see where it says two o'clock up here? Mm -hmm. So this is in, this is going to go out at three o'clock. And because there's three posts, they've made this box bigger. So then there's a four o'clock space. And the key times to post are 8 a.m. when people are getting ready to go to work and they're driving to work or they're on a bus, riding to work, 8 a.m., 10 a.m., which is coffee break, 
and then 2 p.m., which is afternoon coffee break, 4 p.m., which is just after you get off work, and uh, 7 p.m., which is in the evening after you've had dinner. Those te- seem to be the key times that most people check their messages on social media. So you can, if you just 8, 10, 2, 4, and 7, keep those times in mind and schedule your posts to be around those times. So I was going to put this one out at 2 o'clock, but that was right at the same time (laughs) our meeting started. (laughs) So it's going to be a little bit later that it shouldn't be too bad because some people don't stop for coffee until three because they start later in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. And so let's start another post here. So let's go up to 8 a.m. tomorrow. And you click on it and we're going to choose another picture. So tomorrow is going to be the sixth. So let's choose this one. And let's click on it so we can see what it says. At some point, you just have to let go of what you thought should happen and live in what is happening. Where did you find all these, Christine? I just go and Google it. And I Google yeah. I Google um, famous quotes with pictures or f- famous Snoopy quotes with pictures. And they're all, they're all sets. They're all prepared. You can just use them and they're free. You have to you have to be okay with them with the little um ink marks on them. They uh, mm-hmm. call these. But I don't uh, what am, what, what am I, the watermark. Watermark, yeah. The watermarks. That because it shows who the actual uh creator Off, is. Of, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so then you just post it on your social media. So What would be a good thing to say about this? At some point, you just have to let go of what you thought should happen and live in what is happening. I would put live in the now. Yeah. So so your one-liners correspond with the uh, image post, correct? That's correct. I try to make them follow through with the theme. And... um, Ah, I'm going to do changes. Live in the present. Yes. P R E S E. You put live in the precious. Oh, okay. <laughs> live in the precious present, right? Nice, nice. So hashtag would be present. And I'm going to put a hashtag marketing expert. You can put up to 30 hashtags up there, but I think it's a little bit overkill. I yeah. never put more than five hashtags because who wants to read all the hashtags? I just think it sure. ruins your post. <laughs> but also what it does is that it it's a, it's a different type of search engine, basically. And so it's going to show your post to more people that have your target audience in them or that are your target audience. And then we just see where it's going to go from there. So this is going to be September 6th at 8 a.m. And you want to customize it for each network, but I don't think we need to because we haven't exceeded the number of characters for the, the Twitter one. And so I could, I'm not going to schedule it as a draft. I'm going to schedule it as a post. You just click on the scheduling bar and away we go. So now it's going to come out at eight o'clock in the morning. So let's do Thursday at 10 o'clock. And we can look for another one. So I could go into another one of mine, but let's see what this one says. So I save all of my famous quotes with pictures by the month, by date, so that it helps me keep control of what date 
to post the, the pictures on. Basically, that's what they are as pictures. Hmm. So it says, everyone has a friend during each stage of life, but only the lucky ones have the same friend in all stages of life. Isn't that interesting, eh? That is cute, too. Yeah. So I'm just going to say, I love my friends. So the purpose of this, Christine, is to do to engage people or engagement. Yes, it's to it's to engage people. One of the things that that I like to do too is you can set up little surveys and you can do them for free on SurveyMonkey, and you can do surveys um, surveys about when is the best time to anything you know when is the best time to harvest your broccoli or when is the, something that you you are involved with um what is if you're into into health and wellness um what would you say is the best vegetable to be eating at this time of year and then give them a choice broccoli cauliflower lettuce <laughs> you know what i mean yeah. Um, it has to be a, a survey that is either fun. I have a survey that I I use from my coach, Gloria McDonald, and it's uh, personality styles according to birds. <laughs> and there it's based on four different types of birds, doves, owls, eagles, and peacocks. And you can do research on those personality styles online. And I did, I took the test and I found out that I'm a peacock. <laughs> mm. And uh, and I got a, quite a bit of owl in me. So peacocks like to be on stage. They like to talk. They like to share. Um, owls are information gatherers they have a hard time making a decision right away they have to keep getting more information so you think of an owl sitting in a tree and he's looking this way oh there's a mouse oh i'll watch that mouse oh where's that mouse gonna go oh oh maybe i should jump and get him okay i'll get him and he goes and gets the mouse the eagle he's sitting up there and he's looking around Actually, he's flying usually, soaring, and he'll see that mouse. He doesn't even have to think. He jumps, goes for it right now. So that's an eagle. And so that's dove. Okay, the dove is the next one. And th these are people that are, oh, okay, I'll help you today. What can I, What else can I do? Oh, oh, I'm so sorry you don't feel good. Oh, they're very lovey-dovey people. And so you, you sort of get a feeling from the for the different personality styles when you do this little test. And it was set up on Servio, which is another platform that's like SurveyMonkey. But Servio is a paid platform. So like a dog is kind of like a people people pleaser or something like that? Uh, yeah, they're always wanting to help. They're always... They're willing, willing to go out of their way to help somebody in need or whatever. Good old Gloria McDonald. Yeah, she's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> does she have training, actual trainings for Facebook? Or does she stick with LinkedIn? She specializes with LinkedIn. She doesn't do much with Facebook at all. And um, LinkedIn is actually my specialty. And that's how I met her. I met I, I met her through a post that she had on LinkedIn. And I clicked on it and I went, oh, oh, this is right on. Oh, finally found somebody who thinks like about LinkedIn like me, except she has put together so many uh, links that all the people on her teams can use and help build email lists with. And that was what really got me because I realized through Gloria that it's really important that we build an email list. And there is a platform that is free that you can use that is um, uh, 
similar to the platform that Gloria uses. She uses a platform called Keep for her e emailing and for building her email list. But system, S-Y-S-T-E-M-E dot I-O is the platform that is, is it's free up to about 500 connections on your email list. And then you have to start paying for it. But I just started paying for it right off the bat. It's only, I think, $37 a month. It's really not expensive. System What's the name of hmm. Pardon me? What's it called? System.io. S-Y-S-T-E-M-E dot I-O. I'll have to look it up. Thank you. And they have lots of great videos on there. They've got lots of good training and they've got a really good support group. Mm. So I'm going to go ahead and, oh, my husband just brought me a drink. <laughs> Wasn't that sweet of him? Yeah. He spoils me all the time. Pardon me. I'm going to have a sip. That's okay. <laughs> I like having a, I've been missing a soda pop. Does Gloria still have her trainings available for LinkedIn? Um, no, she's not doing that anymore. No? No, she's not. Um, what we could do is have another talk. Okay. And, and, and at another time, and I can enlighten you some more. She's, uh, I don't know, she's like a whirling dervish. Oh, my gosh. Can't keep up with her. <laughs> She's I know. Well, she's so busy with five billion. That yeah, yeah, and other things she's doing. Yeah. So, and I am too. I'm very busy with five billion. I've got. So am I. I've got um, five billion. I think I've got just under three hundred people on my team. Wow. Yeah. So it keeps you busy. I got two. <laughs> just keep on well as soon as they they start being able to um we can sign up more people yeah. i think it's i think it's going to just take off like hotcakes yeah so i'm going to quickly put in some Okay, so we're going to customize for each network. Do you are you following what I'm trying to show you here? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So we're not going to make any changes on any of these. We're just going to go on and schedule. So now I've got three, one, two. Where'd the third one go? One, two. If I can go up high enough, probably. <laughs> Can't find where I posted it. I think it's on the fourth Monday four or no. No, I didn't. Uh, I because Monday's gone, so I had to point had to oh. post on Tuesday, and I posted on Wednesday. And I thought I posted at eight o'clock in the morning. I thought I you, think did. You, you you did three. You didn't do four. You did three. Yeah, I did three. So it's the Thursday, but I can't find yeah. my Thursday post. Where did it go? Hmm. so one thing beautiful another thing beautiful about buffer is it keeps track of your posts and you get every time buffer sends out a post it, it will send you an email letting you know that a post has gone out mm -hmm. and then you can go into each of your social media platforms and you can check and see if anybody has liked that post i I usually check the posts the day before. So today is the fifth. I check the posts that went out on the fourth. Because by then, after 24 hours, approximately, there's been a lot more activity. And uh, like I looked at my LinkedIn on Saturday and I had 691 people had been reading my posts on wow. LinkedIn. So I know that they are working and I've gotten clients as a result of doing that posting. And people like um, 
and they start getting involved in conversations with you, they really seem to like Snoopy posts. <laughs> and so when I'm posting uh, for, on uh, using Snoopy posts or um, posts that are inspirational kinds of things or motivational, there will be people who will comment they will they will like and comment on my posts and that's a really ideal time for for me to be able to enter into a dis, a conversation with them and say oh hey great to see you and uh, thank you for liking my post so what you got planned for the rest of the week or you know something like that to sort of always have a, a question that mm -hmm. is an open ended question that that's either a that's a who, what, when, where, why, and how, that kind of a question, so that they have to give me an answer, and they can't just come back with yes or a thumbs up, because <laughs> that kind of ends the conversation when they do that. So you want to use these posts more than once. So the reason I say that, in other words, they you want these posts to pay you at least twice, so get at least two people to talk to as a result of having that post go out. Mm. That's what I call paying paying you back twice. Okay. So do you have any other questions? Okay, hold, hold on. You said use the post more than once. What do you mean? Well, so you see this little post that's on the screen right now. Mm -hmm. And yes, it's about living, living in the precious present. Mm -hmm. And so... If I want what I want is I want to get at least two people to like and comment my posts, each of my posts. So that means that I'm I, my it's paying me twice because I'm getting two leads per post. Okay. And I call that paying me twice because then I can get into conversation with those people and I can steer them to the topic of the day whatever it is that I want to talk to them about. So if I'm in health and wellness and I've got a really great product that I want to share with them, I can steer the conversation to that. So if they like and comment on my post, they say, oh, you know, I really need to think more of this is a good post. I, it made me realize I need to be more in the precious present. And then I can come in and ask them a question. So what's been motivating you to get into the precious present? Tell me a little bit more. If you don't mind me asking, I'd love to hear more. And I always preface things with uh, humbly speaking. If I'm going to give my opinion about something and I'm talking to somebody online, I will always preface it with humbly speaking. Da -da -da -da, and then I'll give them the piece of advice. Um, it depends on who I'm talking to. If I'm talking to people that are total, total strangers, um, I really am careful how I put together my sentences and so that I'm not too blunt and I come across as more as a friend. And But if it's somebody that I know, uh, I won't preface it with humbly speaking necessarily because I know where they're at, and it, I've already prefaced the fact that they they know I'm going to come and hit them straight from the hip. I'm going to shoot straight from the hip and tell them exactly what I'm what I need to tell them, right? Just like what I did about having multiple posts, multiple um, not multiple posts, multiple um, accounts, profiles, multiple yeah. yeah. Any other questions? Um, yeah, Christine, can you go through the W's again? Who, what, when, where? Yeah. Who, what, when, where, why, and how. And you think about them. If you start a quit, start a, a sentence with how, they have to answer it with something, right? They can't say yes or no. Who, Who what, when, why, where. Who, what, when, where. Why and how? Well, there's six of them. Yeah. Who, yeah. what, when, yeah. where, why, and how.
So is this all making good sense to you guys? Oh, yes. Awesome. Amazing. Thank you. I, I'm going to tell you a story, a quick story. Um, just before COVID, I, I've been doing this for, I learned how to do this auto posting and pre-scheduling of posts way back when I first started my business about 12 years ago. And so I've gotten fairly proficient at it. And I've been faithfully making sure I have three to five posts going out through all my social media every day. And I get this message from this gal and she had a podcast show 10 years ago, over 10 years ago now, because this was before, just before COVID. And she invited me to be a guest on her show. And then I had a podcast show and I invited her to be a guest on my show. So we did a trade and got caught. Taught. She, she reached out to me and she said, oh, Christine, she says, are you still coaching and helping people off on LinkedIn? I said, of course. And she said, I've been following you and your posts for the last 10 years. So it had been 10 years since she was on my show. Or we did that trade. And she said, there are no other LinkedIn people that I've been able to find that post every day. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. And she said, that's why I've come back to talk to you because I, I believe I, I know you, I like you and I trust you. <laughs> uh, Isn't that neat? Yes. So it works. Yes. So that's that's basically the the whole thing, right? Of buffer. Yeah, yeah. It's really simple. Then, it's, it's actually really simple. Yeah, and I noticed that you you did not uh, post any like you know business links or the businesses that you in. This is strictly just for engagement to to get a conversation going. Yeah, get a and conversation then, then... going. But here now here now I'm gonna go. I'm going to see if I can share my uh, Sprout Social with you. I do have some posts that I do put links in. And I'll show you those quickly here because I've got it in five minutes. I have to leave. Um, come on, Sprout Social. I just want to log in. So they still have a free trial that you can try them out for, I think it's 30 days. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing the uh, the buffer screen and I'm going to share this other screen, okay? Mm -hmm. I love doing this. Okay. I'm going to log in to my Sprout Social. What's it called again? Sprout Sprout Social? Yeah. S-P-R-O-U-T, like in a bean sprout. Okay. Sprout, sprout Social. Okay, dot so com. I'm going to go. Yeah, dot com. And, okay, okay, before you go ahead, Christine, you also mentioned something called Servio, S-E-R-V-I-O. Yes. That's dot com also, right? Yeah. S E R V I O dot com. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Yes, you can. Okay. So these are some of my posts that I've had go through in the last few weeks. This one, this, these went through, I had 36 engagements for this one. I had 12 engagements and they give you, they tell you how many engagements you have with all of them, right? Nice. And so this little, I click this little button up here and I open up so that I can post a new message. So my message gets posted up here and I click on a picture. So let's do one. I'm going to upload an image. 
So I'm going to go into my images. Um, go into my pictures first. And then I'll go into marketing interests. And let's try uh, April of 2017. It takes a while for them to open up. So these are things that I've just looked up online. Oh. I just do a Google search for famous quotes with pictures. And so let's just click on this one. And they'll show up over here on the right-hand side of the screen. It says, when it rains, look for rainbows. When it's dark, look for stars. Nice. So sometimes I'll just copy what it says there. So it has to be a one-liner before you put hashtags or your link. It can be, it, you have up to 145 characters, right? That's how many characters are allowed on Twitter. Or now it's now called X. And so you have up to 140, I'd say 145, I think it is, or 140. And then you can put your hashtags up there. Oh, including the hashtags one one forty. Yeah, you have to include the hashtags. I'm going to tell you a secret about the word strategist. If you are a business coach, um, coaches get paid. Uh, okay, let's go in order here. Consultants get paid uh, less than coaches get paid. Coaches get paid less than strategists get paid strategists in business get paid more than all of them mm. isn't that interesting very i like looking up statistics and i found some of that information oh here's some statistics on linkedin the average income of people on link linkedin in general is between 76,000 and 86,000 US a year. Wow. The average income of executives on LinkedIn is between 150, 125 and 150,000 US a year. Hmm. Guess what the average income of people on Facebook is? I wouldn't guess. 22,000 wow. US a year. Big difference, huh? Yeah. So I always say to people, where do you think the people are who can afford to buy your stuff? LinkedIn. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to I'm going to just do this. And so this is Pinterest. I've got, I've got, I have 10 uh, platforms connected to, to this. And I need my URL for Pinterest. And there's the image. And so you want it, they want you to make a first comment and it's going to go out on Instagram. So that's going to be a comment. And I can add a link to a website. So if I have a website, I can put a link, my website link here so that the post is connected to that as well, or a blog. In fact, I'm just in the process of uh, with system.io, you can set up a blog. And so I'm going to start a blog. I've got over 300 uh, articles that I've published on LinkedIn, and I'm going to turn them all into a blog. Mm. 
So I always want to select the publisher, which is me. I'm the only publisher on there. And then you want to go and select your day and time. So in step, see where the all these little blue dots? Mm -hmm. See all those little blue dots? That means that there's a post schedule to go out on each one of those days. Oh, okay. And so if I want to check November, I've got dots go all throughout November, all throughout December, and January. There's one missing, or is that, no, that doesn't have a dot. So I've got one missing in January. Let's see if I've got any in February. Nope, haven't got any in February yet. So I got one September, um, Sunday the 4th. Where? In February. Oh, yeah, I do have one there. <laughs> Eagle eyes, you got. Yeah. So I repurpose my posts. And you saw how I save everything, right? Mm -hmm. So it always shows you the day where that you're on. And it, the same with buffer. It just blocks off the days that have already gone past and the times mm -hmm. so that you can see exactly where you can post or times available to post. So if I hover over one of these dots, you'll see how many posts I've got scheduled to go out. Mm -hmm. See that? Mm -hmm. There's three in there. Three in there. So I just wanted to show you this because it the more people can that are connected to you see things from you, the, it builds that that feeling of confidence in you. Mm -hmm. right? And so then they start looking for your your posts. And then they'll start commenting on your posts. And then for you to respond back is huge. So I have done a spreadsheet. And I've scheduled out all my time on this spreadsheet. I've got, I've got uh, up till the end of October, starting into November. Oh, no, I've got all the way to December. I did that yesterday. It was a stat holiday. So I had some time to, to work on my spreadsheet. So I've got a list of all the things that I need to do every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, because I teach English as a second language in the mornings on Saturdays to new immigrants in Canada. Mm. And I have, um, my, my, I, I, like, there are so many Zoom meetings, and I need to have time to do my posts and to create, right? And I feel really badly that I haven't been at, at these meetings more often because you, I think you've got a really good group of people here in this organization. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to quickly show you that so you have an idea. And when I post in here, it shows me all the platforms. Where are we here? shows me all the platforms that are going to get posted on. So here they are right here. And I can, so there's, there's nine of them that I've got connected up. Pinterest, Instagram. I have a business page on, on, in, on LinkedIn. And I also have my personal page. Oh. And then I've got, Facebook pages. These are all a bunch of different Facebook business pages. And there's my Twitter. Mm. But that, you know, it costs me oh, about, what is it, about 111, 110, or 111, depending on where the exchange rate is on the U.S. dollar each month to have this platform. And the reason I show it to you is because it just saves so much time and you can pre-schedule way out. So you saw that there were, there was even one post scheduled into February. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so you don't feel stressed out about having to go online and create posts all the time. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So I'm going to have to wrap up because I have to go to an appointment here. Yeah. I'm looking at my, I'm going to be late. <laughs> so, well, thanks, Christine. I really appreciate that. You're really welcome. I, I really enjoy helping people and showing uh, people how these work. Christine, make sure to um, press stop on the record, record button. Yep.